All right, this is a uh, Prince DJ. Now, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of messed it up because I, I was supposed to be doing a rant about a segment that me and T Justice had saw on Hawaii Five O yesterday, but the uh, blessing that I received when I went to, um, um, you know, the how to grow your your uh, uh show, you know, um. Marketing and Growth with uh, Eric Bischoff, Jeff Jarrett, and uh, Comrade. Wow. Wow. But anyway, uh, so, I mean, okay, let's get, let's, let's get real. You know the poor when we don't have money and we see have money, but then when we see money gets uh, thrown away like that in the middle of an ending of a TV show, it's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So let me let me uh let me uh tell you what happened. Uh, we was watching a episode in Hawaii Five O. I think it's called uh Gold Rush Kill. I think that was what Gold Rush Kill. Uh, don't quote me on that one, but Chief Justice won't let me know if I made a long shot. But anyway, he'll let me know. He's a fan of the show, uh, of course. He's uh he's on the cabinet. He else he's on the Prince cabinet. But anyway. Uh, Go Rush Kill is the uh the, probably the name of the uh the episode of Y Five O, and in the end of that episode, had a, uh, pretty women with a guy, and they had a briefcase full of money. I don't know how much money that it was. Okay, I had no clue how much money it was, but all of a sudden, you see this whack job of an idiot. Doing tons of month, tons of dollars, that something was get that could have gone to the chief justice or myself. Tons of dollars being thrown into the Pacific Ocean. Tons of money thrown into the Pacific Ocean. Are you out of your ever loving mind, whoever, whoever, uh, uh, whoever put that uh, uh, episode on there? I, we was offended by it. We was offended by that episode. How the hell do you go to tell somebody a poor that haven't never had money like that, saying you can't have it? We're gonna throw the money in the Pacific Ocean. And we was like, what? And then we also had a, a case of scenario that it better be counterfeit because you just don't throw money like that in the Pacific Ocean. Damn it! You don't do that. That's enough money. That could have been enough money that I could have stayed at the uh, the, the Gaylord uh, Rockies of uh, almost the whole week. Uh, that's enough money to be at an extended stay in in Galveston before I go to the uh, the place that I'm really going in Galveston. Or that's that's enough money to pay almost the whole year, a whole year in that place when I wouldn't have to worry about and then and then. You don't just throw money away in the Pacific Ocean like that. To throw it, uh, to, to literally throw it money away in the Pacific Ocean. Are you kidding me? And whoever wrote that story, whoever wrote that story for both Y Five O, this is really ridiculous. I think the bad acting. No, no, no. I think the bad acting. Uh, the bad acting. Okay, see, I'm still happy because of early. But I see some bad ending. Well, sp- okay, speaking of wrestling, okay, we're going to talk if we're talking about wrestling. Speaking of wrestling, I see some bad endings in wrestling. I see some bad pay per views. And one of them had the crowd saying, restart match, restart match. And Chief Dusty's really going to like this. They actually chanted, bullshit, bullshit, restart match, restart match. Restart me. That was a terrible ending. And a hell of a cell and it ended in a draw. That was a terrible ending. Oh, okay, okay. Well, what about the Montreal School job where uh, Bret Hart was screwed out of the title, out of the WWE title in Montreal? Hence calling it the Montreal School job. Okay. There's other, matter of fact, fact, what about in, in WrestleMania when Cody was supposed to get his WrestleMania moment and then it? Okay, I'll take it one further. What about SummerSlam? 
when Jay was supposed to be Roman Reigns after he pinned him a week before, okay? And here comes here comes Jimmy stopped him from getting the win and stuff like that. That was a bad ending. I see another bad ending to TVs, movies, gay shows. But not an ending that goes as far as to... I, I, okay, there was an ending that made me cry, made me laugh, or whatnot. But never to make me so offended that I get so hot just that I want to rant about it on the show. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You just don't do thousands and thousands... And then the program ended. You ended the program with seeing money being thrown, being thrown around like making it rain, as they would call it. You you see money being made it rain in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Are you freaking out of your mind? I might have one income, depending upon when I get that letter of death. I don't know if it's uh, going to happen in uh, September or October. I might be stuck with one income because I'm out of Missouri. That's a bad ending, and I'm not even ready yet. I mean, I had to cancel the investment because, well, it was a good thing because I had to get food. It was a good thing. And I wanted to try to get back to the investment. But now I might, might not be able to now unless I finally get into level 12 where, you know, I don't have to recruit, recruit anymore or try to recruit anymore and still get an income. The only thing I got paid with lift good was $10. No, the first one was $25 uh, uh, fast power bonus because I uh, finally had an upgrade. And then the $10, you know, for somebody paid for an order or the, or for a membership or whatever. But still, that just made both me and Chief Justice very mad. Very mad. Okay, you're going to like this. You're going to like this. I'm going to end this like this. Duh! Whoever wrote that story out of Life 5 Whoever said they're okay to do that, you're fired!